Hello and welcome to Beyond the Bio, the recap. In these little short episodes, I am recapping Monday's main episode and encouraging you to take action on that topic. So if you miss Monday's show, please go back and take a listen. The link to Monday's show is in the show notes. So this week I was chatting to Francesca James, who is the founder of the Great British Entrepreneur Awards and Community and also Ideas Fest, aka Glastonbury for Business. With a background in publishing and events, Francesca is passionate about telling the stories of entrepreneurs in an effort to support and champion their endeavours. And the timing of this episode was perfect. I mean, not only have I been wanting to get Fran on the show for ages, but it also coincides with the GBEAs being open for entry this year. So they opened on Monday and they will be open until I think late-ish May. So you've got a couple of months to get those entries in and they are quite long so you will need to factor that into your planning. So in the show we were talking about what a brilliant awards program the GBAs are, about how there are no barriers to entry. We spoke about the variety of categories that are available, the different regions and shared some examples of people that have been really successful in the awards and what they've gone on to do. Also, my own experience of the awards has been fantastic. I won a couple of the awards back in 2020. And for me, being involved in the community side has been just amazing. You know, the events that the team put on are fantastic for networking. I have met some of the best people through the events that have been put on. They really have been fantastic. Like, I can't praise them enough. So I think that is often an overlooked benefit to awards that people just don't think about. You think about going along to the dinner and, you know, having a nice time and celebrating with the team very important to do those things but actually just being shortlisted and being exposed to that community and getting along to the events is magical so don't underestimate that and definitely take the opportunities to go along to any accompanying events and follow-up events because it's those chance conversations that you have with people where the magic completely does happen So this week's Take Action is going to be to enter the Blumen Awards. Of course it is. So there are so many categories. I should have probably checked exactly how many there are. I think there's maybe 19 or 20 different categories. So there are a lot of categories. There's something for everyone. So if you are early on in your business, there's a startup category. And there are also literary categories for every possible business as well. So my take action is going to be to go and have a look at those categories and identify one or maybe even two or maybe even three that are going to suit you and your business right now. You will find that the questions for each category are very similar, but you're going to need to put a different slant on each category that you go for. So if you go for the startup category and then you also go for the family business category, you're going to have to tailor your response to suit that particular category. It's not a case of you can write the same entry and just copy and paste it because you won't be hitting the the criteria for that award. So my challenge is going to be to go and have a look at the categories, identify which ones suit you. So you're going to want to click on to any that catch your eye, look at the criteria, check that you're eligible because no point in entering if you're not and take a note of the deadline and start planning when you are going to be writing these awards because they do take time if you're going to do it properly it's like a job application right so if you just you know whack out a hundred they're going to be all pretty rubbish whereas if you do one or two and you spend that same amount of time on them they're going to be much better so factor in the timing it might be that you want some external support so if you do definitely come to me and see what we can offer you at Moja. we find that may is our busiest month for award entries because all of our clients want to do the gbas because they're so awesome so if you do want some external support in helping to write your entry please get in touch soon so that we are able to book you in and get your entry done ahead of the deadline so if you're going to write the entry yourself Like I say, take the time to plan out when you're going to do it. Maybe factor in some time to show somebody else your entry and just get them to fact check it. Think about the evidence that you're going to provide. Think about stats. 
all sorts of different things that you might want to think about with that. So that is the take action for this week. Enter the GBAs and hopefully you'll be shortlisted and I will get to see you at the awards ceremony, which usually takes place at Grosvenor House in November. So best of luck with your entries. And as always, please let me know how you get on and I'll see you on Monday.